Good day everyone. Today we'll be discussing legacy software and the nature of web application. Last time we have discussed software, its different types and purpose. We will now focus our discussion on legacy software and web app. Our learning outcomes for today's topics are as follows. Understanding what legacy system is. Understand what legacy software is. Identify the uses of a legacy system. Identify the reasons why legacy system must evolve. Understand what a web application. Define web server. Understand how a web application works. Identify the different benefits of a web app. And identify the different attributes of a web app. Let us start now by defining what a legacy software is. A legacy software has been around for a long time and has been used to fulfill a business need. A mission, its mission is critical to the business, but it has already reached its end of life. Generally, the lifespan of the hardware is shorter than that of the software. As time goes on, the hardware gets harder to maintain but it is kept because of its installed legacy software, quote and unquote, but maintaining it has become too complex and expensive. Now you already know what a legacy software is, let us now define what a legacy system is. So, what is a legacy system? A legacy system refers to both the legacy software and the legacy hardware. Legacy system will always be present in different industries as mentioned on the slide like uh, the industry, defense, uh, the transportation, hospitals, insurance, and many more. Now, the question is, do we need to replace legacy software or system? Hmm. Let's first discuss the next slide. Why use legacy system? Here are some reasons why organizations might still consider using a legacy system. If the organization does have the budget or doesn't have the budget for a new system and the legacy system does not have any problems and is still capable of accomplishing its purpose, why replace it? Another reason to consider is the complexity of the system itself and system documentation. If the system's documentation is poor, and the system is very complex, migrating to a new system will take a long time and would cost the organization a lot of money. Now, let us now discuss why legacy system must evolve. We all know technology moves at a very fast phase and the need to cope with these changes is essential in gaining competitive advantages. The need to adapt to changes, enhances procedures, extend its capability and upgrade to new technologies are some of the reasons why legacy system must evolve. Now, let me ask you again. Do we need to replace legacy software or system? I think I will just leave the answer to you. Now let's go to our next topic which is web application. What is a web application? 
Many of you may have used a web application. A web application or web app is a program that is stored on a remote server and delivered over the internet through a browser interface. Okay, so what is a remote server? Remember that a remote server provides access to share data and objects in a network. The given example for a web application are webmail, gmail, and outlook. Some of these examples uh, you might have already used or have already an experience. Notice that it always involves a client and a server. Before I continue, let me first define what is a web server. So, a web server is a computer program that manages websites by allocating web pages as they are requested. A web server is different from a remote server. You will most likely encounter these words in web apps, but they are two different things. Okay? A web server is primar uh, the primarily objective of a web server is to save, handle, and distribute web pages to the users, while a remote server provides access to share data and objects. So, how does a web app work? As I have mentioned earlier, web apps involves a client and a server. As you can see in the illustration below, the client requests for a particular information. This can be a document, a graphics, a video, an audio, uh, and many more. And the web servers provides the requested information. All this is done through a communication platform called the internet. Now, there are different benefits of using a web app especially in this day of age where internet is widely used the best benefits that we can get from a web app is its accessibility users can access the web app anytime anytime meaning because uh, it allows multi-user access uh, another uh, benefit is you uh, access accessing the web app anywhere because you can use any platforms that you use like laptops, phones, or even tablets. And you don't even need to install the web app because it can be accessed using web browsers only. So, if you are using, for example, uh, Gmail, uh, you don't need to download the Gmail app in your laptop or uh, in your uh, phones or tablets to access your emails. You, all you need to have is a web browser and then you can access your Gmail account using your web browsers. Now, let us go to the different attributes of a web app. So, we have 11 attributes listed below. So, let us discuss them one by one. So, the first attributes or attribute of a web app is its network intensiveness. So, network intensiveness means that the web app can serve the needs of a wider client. With the help of the internet, access to the web app may be worldwide. 
The next attribute is concurrency. Concurrency attribute refers to the multi-users using the web app simultaneously. Another attribute of a web app is the unpredictable load. This refers to having different number of users in a given day. Let's say during Mondays, the number of users of the web app may reach up to uh, 100,000, but only 50,000 during uh, Tuesdays. So every day, the number of uh, users uh, may depend or may differ. The next uh, attribute is performance. Performance attribute refers to how fast your web app interacts with the user. Now, this is very important. Having to wait for a long time may drive your users away. And this may cause them to look for a similar app but performs faster. For example, like me, I don't like to wait too long for a web app to open. So, I don't have the, uh, what do you call this, uh, patience to wait for a long time uh, before I can uh, open a web app. So, instead, I will just simply look for a different web application uh, that can perform faster than uh, other uh, web applications. The next attribute is availability. This means being able to use the web app 24-7. Although sometimes there is a need for system maintenance or upgrade, Having a web app that is available anytime is a very important. The uh, sixth attribute is data-driven. This attribute means being able to present information like text, graphics, videos, or audio content in your web app through hypermedia. Or sometimes we refer to hypermedia as a hypertext. Uh, these are the uh, clickables, the hyperlinks, okay, that we click on a uh, web app to go to a specific location or probably a uh, a different website. Number seven. Our seventh attribute is the content sensitive. So the content sensitive attribute refers to the quality and aesthetic nature of content. The contents of uh, the web app must be appropriate to its purpose. So make sure that uh, if you will create a web app, the contents of your uh, web app pertains or uh, specifically uh, displays information about what your web app is all about. Next, our eighth attribute is the continuous evolution. Now, continuous evolution attribute refers to the web app's constant development. This is very important because this helps meet the needs of the users and cope up with changes. For example, uh, in your phones, your, uh, your Android phones, uh, sometimes uh, has uh, updates so that it can give you a uh, better uh, service and better environment when using your phones. Our uh, ninth attribute attributes of a web app is a uh, 
images uh, immediacy. Now, this attribute means that the application can be made available in the market as quickly as possible. So, it doesn't take too long to make a web app unlike a uh, system uh, for a specific company to uh, uh, produce a certain information. Like, for example, if you will create a uh, payroll system, it will take a long time before you can finish creating that software unlike web apps which takes a shorter time uh, to finish a web application our 10th attribute is security now security attribute means limiting the number of users accessing the web app now you may think that um, limiting the number of users in accessing the uh, web app is a is might not be an attribute but it is because it will help secure or help secure your uh, web applications so there are certain uh, web apps like for example requires you to sign in before you can use the web app Otherwise, uh, you can uh, if if you ignore uh, registering for uh, for your web app or for the website or for the web app, you won't be able to use this uh, this uh, particular application. So this is part of the security. And lastly, uh, we have the aesthetics attribute. So the aesthetic uh, attribute means that the web app is appealing to the eyes of the users always remember that the aesthetic may have as much to do with the success as technical designs even to the smallest details like for example the colors that you use in your web app if it is not appealing to the eyes of the user uh, they might uh, uh, prompt in using uh, using your uh, web app okay so uh, that is the lesson for today and i hope you have learned something new today and thank you for listening